Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'll be evaluating new cash for Chapter 1 of our accounting software case study which deals with basic company information. As a open source software, new cash is free for anybody for an unlimited uh, amount of time. So let's get started. So I've opened my new cash, I've downloaded it and installed it. I am working with new cash version. 4.9 which is the most current version as of February 3rd 2022 so I've installed it it was very easy to install I've opened it brings us to a very basic screen um, so from here we're going to start customizing what they call a I believe they call it a book so let's go to file and properties and this is where we're going to start customizing our book so this is the pop-up we get so we can do some customization on accounts budgeting and here under business is where we're going to set up our business information so we're going to call our business fit HVAC and plumbing Inc uh, here we can put an address contact person phone number fax email all of the information uh, that we want to put obviously you're going to want to put that for your company I'm just going to put the name um, counters here's where we can in, uh, enter the number we want to begin all of our uh, different document numbers with I'm just going to leave those and we'll start them at one you may want to do something different perhaps a thousand um, so good so that's what that is and then if we have a tax ID number uh, we can stick it there okay so let's apply these to our book so a book what they call a book is it's a book of accounts and so you might think of it as a company your company has one generally book of accounts okay so we are now looking at our accounts we have no accounts set up yet so we're going to have to create our chart of accounts before we do that let's look for a few other items uh, that we can customize our accounts for so another place that we enter um, information is going to be under the edits we go to our preferences tab and this is going to have a whole lot of our information that we need so we're going to have our accounting period we're setting the accounting period as the start and end of the calendar year um, and so that is correct um, so we can uh, you can scroll through here all sorts of different options don't see anything else we need to really set up just yet okay uh, the one thing I don't see I don't see where we can tell it um, that we are an S Corp or where we can set up classes um, to track income and expenses or locations so the case study asks us to set up multiple classes so one for HVAC one for plumbing one for administrative I don't see the ability to do that uh, and also to track separate locations uh, we wanted one for New York one for Delaware we can't do that either okay so I think we've got uh, the company set up as much as we can now let's create our chart of accounts and so to do that I have a trial balance here in the case study that's going to, that shows me the accounts we need and the uh, balances as of the beginning of the year so to put in a new account into our book I'm just going to click new and I'm going to put in the the name of the account the code of the account doesn't really need a description okay and the account type is going to be a cash account and let's hit okay okay I'm gonna add my next account which is my checking account okay and that is account 110 and that is a bank account okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go through here and let's see what we need to how we uh, 
bring in how we can enter our beginning balances. If I just click on this cash on hand, actually I think there's a better way to do it. Can I edit this? Yeah, so here as we enter the balance, as we enter the name of it, we can go here to balance and put a thousand dollars is what I have in cash on hand and we're going to put this as of the beginning of the year which is the end of last year and hit OK. OK and I'll do the same for checking. Now I am going to go ahead and I'll enter the remaining part of our trial balance. I'm going to pause the video so that you don't have to watch all of this data entry. OK so I'm back. So I've entered my uh, chart of accounts so there are ways to transfer this in uh, from a CSV file if you'd like. So one thing about this program, it does not automatically save. So we need to remember to click save here uh, once in a while. Um, but I've entered all of my uh, chart of accounts and beginning balances without a lot of trouble. Um, just to show you, if you go up here into file import, you can actually import your accounts from a CSV file. So that is certainly something you can do and you can import the beginning balances along with that. Okay, um, so let's look now at a balance sheet. Just to make sure I, uh, I've got all my uh, accounts set up properly. So balance sheet. Yeah, so this is a very old-fashioned program in that the the reports actually are going to are going to be affected by how you set up your chart of accounts. And so you can see this is not in the typical order of a of the asset section. Um, but it is correct, but generally your cash and short-term assets would be first. And that's all about how you set up your chart of accounts. So I'm not going to worry about it, but that's why it looks a little bit funny. Now the other thing is I want balances in these additional paid in capital common stock and retained earnings account, but it's not, it didn't let me enter beginning balances and equity accounts. It puts all of the, so it put all, I entered all of these beginning balances and assets and liabilities and it plugged the difference to an account it calls opening balances. So I'm going to have to make a journal entry um, to transfer them out of open balance and into the equity accounts that I want them to be in. Um, I could do that. There's really no point in it. So let's just uh, uh, move on. Okay, so um, next thing the case study wants me to do is to close the books prior to 2021. Okay, um, so let's see if we can do that. So I've done some research and I'm not seeing any way to, to lock the prior period books. It looks like a lot of new cash users are actually suggesting you simply close the books and create a new eight, a, a new uh, new cash file for each year. Um, so you're using a new cash file for each year, so then you couldn't go back and make changes to the prior year. I suppose that's a solution. Um, however, uh, then if you want to look at any transactions from those prior years, you're going to have to actually go back and reopen old company files. May not be a, a big deal, and it would certainly prevent people from making entries in old periods. Um, so that's the solution that some users uh, are suggesting. Okay, let's see what our next requirement is in the case study. Um, we want to provide access to an additional user. Uh, we have unlimited users here, but of course this is strictly a desktop program. So unless the other user has access to this program or you're able to uh, somehow set this up on a network, um, then you're not going to be able to, to share it with additional users. Okay, and that's it for chapter one of the Fit Small Business case study, essentially just setting up our company name, getting our account set up. Now as we go, we're gonna have to set up some additional accounts for income and expenses, but we'll do that, kind of what I call on the fly as we enter some income and expense transactions. So my name is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and that was chapter one of our accounting software case study for new cash.